a much different situation outside of the Ogilvy Tran Transportation Center and the Israeli consulate right now. Completely clear and very quiet. But that was a couple of hours ago. 200 protesters taking over this street and then, as you mentioned, clashing with police. And I want to show you exactly what happened in those moments. A few minutes after speeches from the group behind enemy lines, a crowd of about 200 pro-Palestinian protesters attempted to break through a police bike line and clashed with officers. Fight fighting broke out and they were unable to really make it through, but that did escalate the situation. Then hundreds of Chicago police in riot gear, face shields with batons, holding the line, boxing the group in. Protesters were ordered to disperse. Again, this was an unpermitted protest, but they did not disperse, holding a standoff with police. Superintendent Larry Snelling himself staring down the crowd from the front lines. Protesters again tried to engage with police, but were then funneled through the loop downtown. Uh, a combination of bike police blockades and uniformed bodies. Some protesters leaving, some being arrested in the process, others marching on or near Union Station, where they were again pushed back. Things ended with the last few dozen protesters at Canal in Monroe at the Catton building. The few left climbing onto signs before being forcibly taken down and carried off by Chicago police and waiting city buses. Now, the protests ending in a whimper rather than a bang. We heard no gunshots. We saw no tasers deployed. There was no pepper spray deployed either. Uh, those protesters were taken to those buses and then taken away. Uh, the Israeli consulate, for its part, says that they are condemning the violence and says that it's contrary to the spirit of the DNC. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.